Hey everyone, welcome to my review of the new Citadel Glaze range, specifically Way Watcher Green. As you'll probably notice, Way Watcher Green kind of looks like the green washes or shades as they're now called, but has a slightly brighter yellow tinge, almost looks like it's kind of glowing. Kind of reminds me of the old inks that Citadel used to produce. For my first test, I wanted to try um, this new glaze out on orc skin, which was one of the things recommended by Citadel, or GW. So I applied a relatively light uh, cover of this glaze over the orc. You'll probably recognize this orc from some of the other reviews and one of my other tutorials. As you can see, it went on very, very uh, smoothly. And you can tell that just by uh, very quickly seeing that it starts to bring out some of the details. It brightens up. Uh, some of the exposed areas while keeping the dark still pretty much uh, the same. And when it dried, uh, it looked like this. So there was a slight difference. Actually, I could tell between the, the before and after. And now the, um, the recesses are about the same color while the more exposed areas are a little bit brighter of a green color. So overall, it added a little bit of contrast overall to the skin color, which is pretty nice. For my second test, I wanted to try tinting uh, the metallics, which is again one of the recommended usages of these glazes. So I applied once again a, a very thin coat to, uh, to the top of his axe just to see how it would turn out. And here's what the finished axe looked like. As you can see now there's a, a slight green tinge to it, making it look almost like a mossy old look to it. Uh, pretty cool. Also, as you can see here, the uh, the tint tends to work a little bit better on areas that have recesses since it gets in there and uh, gives it a really nice green glaze. So two for two, I'm pretty happy with the product. And finally, a usage which I think would be very cool for this product is the glowing orbs and wiring on Necron models. So using this death mark, I have once again applied a thin coat of this glaze to areas that had been previously painted using goblin green and scorpion green to see how it end result would be. And as you can see here, the final uh, product is actually really, really nice. I think it really does produce a nice green, uh, almost glowing appearance on the orbs and the wiring. Just to compare this, I used the same steps on the one on the right, however I used a Thraka green wash instead of the glaze, and as you can see it turned out much darker and a little bit less smooth of an appearance on the right hand side. However, this glaze turned out really smooth and really bright, and I think it produces a nice green glowing effect. So overall I'm pretty happy with this product on this Necron model. So just to summarize, I think these glazes are actually really cool. Um, they come in four different colors to my knowledge, which are yellow, green, red, and blue. They have a very good consistency, similar to the washes. They go on very smoothly and add some really nice contrast rather than darkening, uh, lightening the exposed areas and increasing the contrast that way. Uh, based on my limited trial though, I thought it was really excellent of a product and I highly recommend it to people out there who want to add some definition to your models. I think that there are going to be a lot of really cool uses of these glaze products. Uh, first of all, they could be used on Necron armies to produce the cool glowing effect that I showed you or to tint some of the metal. Also, you can do the same thing for metallic armies like Grey Knights or any fantasy army that has a lot of armor. Plus, you can use these glazes on any of the power armor armies, like Ultramarines or Dark Angels. Um, you could use these glazes on the Carapace of Tyranids, and as I've just demonstrated here, on such skins as like Orc Skin. So out of all the new Citadel products, I think this is definitely one of the very cool points in the new range. And that's it. Thank you to all you people, as always, for watching my videos. You give me the inspiration to keep going. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. So as always, thank you to people. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.